Hi, this is Ronnie, and welcome to my channel and Mercy Tierra's 27 day challenge inspiration YouTube hop. And there's several different challenges for the hop, and you can pick which one you wanted. And this one is a long, long time ago. So my story starts out. <laughs> There was a little blonde haired girl with green eyes a long, long time ago. And this picture is of my mother and it's like 1934. And you notice the quilt in the background? Well, that's why I have the patchwork looking thing in the background here. This is Paige Evans collection. Well, most of it, well, all of it's Paige Evans, but it's, it's from different collections and I just had them all together in the iris container, what I had left over from each one. And I do have quite a bit. Um, I wanted something solid to put my title on because that is pretty busy, that background. But my mom would have loved it. She loved color. And I have a niece that <laughs> took after her. And ever since she was really tiny, would tell her she was just like mom. She loved color. Her clothes were usually a bright color. If she had a choice between two things, it was going to end up being a bright color. Her picture here, though, it looks like a white dress. It being black and white, you know, it may have even been yellow. I never thought to ask her. She told me she was four in the picture. And that um, she asked to get her picture taken in front of the quilt. And she said it's probably because she liked that quilt so well. But it looks pretty colorful. Some of the squares, you know, have gingham and some of them look like they have flowers and others look like they have um, dots on it. So it's a variety and it does look like it's probably a colorful quilt. And I thought about using these here. I kind of thought they looked pink till I got them under the odd light and they look more red than pink. So I pulled them back off because it is pink that's in this collection. And I got these out instead, and they're pretty little studio, and they're kind of a vellum-y like. Um, they're not very bright, but I thought they'd go really good with the green that was in here. And so my title's going to say, heck yes, because see that little round disc there? I am going to lose it, and it's going to be like, I'm thinking I'm done <laughs> with my layout. Put sequins on there and everything, and realize that it's not on there. So I look, it's underneath my layout somewhere. I don't even know how it got there. But I will have to go back and finish this. But I did cut that part out where I was waving by and everything. Yeah, I thought I was done. I really did. I'm putting a clothespin there on that heart. I thought, how cool is that? There's a clothespin here on the chipboard. I'm going to use it because a clothespin is what's holding that quilt up. It was had been washed and was hanging out to dry. And the I'm using the floral ephemera. And see that heart there, that clip? I'm going to end up moving it after this, and then I'm not going to have it on the layout at all. I decided to use a different heart up there because I just couldn't get that one to work. Um, my journaling tag that you see there, it's going to say, Elsie Lavina Love Colors. She also loved taking care of her little mother. She was four years old in this picture. And then I'm going to put a little more on the on another card and put it on the back. I didn't have enough room to put everything I wanted here because I was adding so much color. But she did love flowers. And one house that we lived in for several years, the reason they bought it is because there was so many flowers. And blossoms, oh, it had a crab apple tree, which was not my favorite, like three or four cherry trees, a couple of apple trees, a yellow one and a red one, and a pear tree, and I can't remember what else, but loads of flowers, and my mom just loved that. And she would get mad at my dad, because when he'd go to mow the lawn, he'd mow whatever it was down. He said, oh, they'll grow back. Well, they all did not grow back. And, but yeah, the ones by the fence, by the road, he left alone. So those stayed and the snowball bushes stayed, but everything else, he, he just would, <laughs> it was a pretty good size yard and he would mow it down. 
I am just making little clusters with the flowers and there's like three little pockets in that ephemera and it had leaves and then it had flowers and then it had more flowers well the more flowers have the white around the outside so I just used the ones without the white <laughs> I didn't have to do any fussy cutting I'm gonna put three stitches uh, they're gonna be cross um, stitch right down there and I'm using that close to my heart waxy flax and I think this is the first time I've used it actually for stitching I've used it on tags and different other things but I hadn't used it on stitching and I'm putting three at the bottom and three at the top and I get one of my holes wrong and right here at the end you'll see I it was pushing down there right there in that corner it's because I was pushing down on the hole because I poked me a new hole. And you really can't tell it by the time it's done. You'll see in the close-ups that I pushed it down through a little glue on it. And you can't tell it's there. Um, I'm working on, let's see. Oh, this is just a tiny cluster up there on the left. And that was before I thought, oh man, I need to have more room for my story. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have put it up there a little bit higher and just had the one cluster, the one where I'm going to put a pull tab for my other journaling. But I forgot about needing to write more. Well, I didn't know till I got the writing that I needed more space. It seemed like quite a bit of lines there. But I am going to fill a whole other little journaling card. And I'm going to have to go back and write on it some more and put it on the back and put over at the bottom because I put this carousel horse on there because my mom loved carousels and Ferris wheels, both of them. She, she could ride them all the time. My dad hated <laughs> any kind of ride. It'd make him sick to his stomach. And a Ferris wheel would really make him sick. So she would have to get one of us other kids to ride with her, which, you know, every one of us was willing if she went on a Ferris wheel especially. But he wouldn't go on anything. So most of the time she had a baby and she would be on the merry-go-round, the carousel, she'd be on it sitting on a bench. But, uh, yeah, most of the time with five kids she had a baby. I am found my little heck yes <laughs> and I uh, put foam tape underneath it so it'd raise up just a little bit and a flower and a few more sequins I'd put sequins all over the place but I didn't put any there because it just I don't know <laughs> I don't understand why I did not notice it wasn't there oh here I punched the wrong thing first you need to punch the center one first and then the outer one and I knew that but it's been so long since I made a pocket on the back. Oh, I bet six months, if, if not longer. And I should have done it uh, also at, before I did my writing, put this little tab. But no, I have to make things difficult. <laughs> and I put it the writing on first. But I wanted to make sure I'd have room for all of it. And I put pull in black because that's the pen I had laying there. But when I get to thinking about it, I decide I want it in white. So I will put white stitching on that little scalloped one. And I'll take and put another circle on top of the one that's already there. And write pull in white. And yeah, I'm about done with my layout. Uh, I'm making a pocket for the back. And I'm going to put foam tape on there too. And... Um, Let's see, where am I at now? Oh, I was covering, first I was covering up the stitching because, yeah, if I'd been thinking ahead, I would I would have put it somewhere else, but I punched the hole. Then I looked on the back and I thought, oh, it's right next to the stitching. But I would have put it over to the other side or something, even though I was wanting it there. But it worked out all right because I put cardstock over the whole thing, including the stitching, so that my card would slide in and out better. I put foam tape on there and I made it pretty snug. It's just a tiny bit, the area, just a tiny bit wider than my card. And then I took my powder tool and just powdered it all down so it wouldn't be sticky and see how easy it slid in and out. And that's the way I want it. I want it just to snug enough that it's not going to fall out, but also I want it where uh, it's not going to stick either. 
And this works in a three ring binder better than it does the post. If you use the post, you're going to have to make sure you use a smaller pull tab. This one is a one inch and you would probably have to use a half inch. Well, I'm pretty sure that's what I used before on the post bound ones because you don't want it sticking up too far. But that's my layout, and oh, <laughs> I was going to read what was on the rest of the card. The other thing she loved was coloring, playing with her cousins, even though they were boys, and that was at this age at four years old. Uh, she had girl cousins later, but not right then. Flowers, and she would make necklaces, crowns, bracelets, and rings out of them, and she also loved Cracker Jacks. I don't know if it was the Cracker Jacks. Well, yeah, I knew she loved the Cracker Jacks. But she always saved the little prize. And when I was a kid and when my kids were little, she would uh, show her necklace that she'd saved from when she was a child. And uh, it was all the prizes that she got from the Cracker Jacks. But that's my layout. And there is so much inspiration down there below. And if you go to the Facebook group, the Mercy Tierra 27 Day Challenge Facebook group, you can get in on the challenges yourself. And everybody's doing different ones. There might be a couple doing the same thing. But you can see what the challenges are and think, oh, man, I'd like to do that one. And you can post your layout in the Facebook group and everybody can see what you made for that challenge. Because, you know, everybody's is going to be different and they'll start out with the same thing theme <laughs> theme like my theme was long long ago and you tell a story too so you do have to do journaling on this one which is something i don't do all the time but i was planning on journaling on this one anyway but uh yeah check out the inspiration below and if you leave a comment i'll get back with you and if you like the video hit a thumbs up i'd appreciate it and if you are not subscribed to my channel i'd love to have you subscribe and thank you to everybody that is have a happy scrappy week bye